Hello everyone, I am currently in the south of France. I'm here sailing on a beautiful yacht with my family and my in-laws as well. We have been here for around, I think it is four days now. So we started out in a harbor called Gramo, which is a car ride around one and a half hour from Nice where we landed. The harbor is such a beautiful harbor. It is known as the French Little Veneti which makes a lot of sense since there are water running through a lot of beautiful houses and I will just insert a clip here because it is beautiful. So we started out there and then we uh, were just hanging out on the beach and just chill out as much as possible. Then we moved on to Saint-Tropez for a day. I've never been to Saint-Tropez. Actually, I've never been to the south of France. So this is a whole new experience for me and I'm so, so excited to be here. I have heard a lot of great things about the south of France and I can't... I don't know why I've never been here. So, so, so happy that I'm here now and that I'm... that I get to experience actually so many cities uh, in one vacation since we are on a boat it makes it is quite easy to get around and see a lot of cities uh, in one week so so we went to Saint Tropez for a day and wow such a beautiful beautiful city what we did was just uh, enjoying all the streets and the beautiful buildings and had lunch yeah but going from Saint Tropez to Cannes so we are in Cannes now and um, the plans for today is just 
exploring the city and definitely going for some lunch and also browsing some of the beautiful stores around here. I know they have great shopping here, so we will definitely also go and check that out. The weather is amazing, clear blue skies and around 30 degrees, so we will probably also hit the beach later but let's see about that first of all it is very important with lunch because i'm already very very hungry um but before leaving i will show you a beautiful piece that i have received and it is a piece that i feel like every woman should own in the jewelry collection and it is in fact a pearl necklace um this one here is from a brand called fedoma and what i love about their pieces is that they are all handmade um, and this necklace here is made of fresh water pearls and since it is real pearls every piece are unique since um, yeah since the pearls vary in form and sizes and everything but I really really love that about this beautiful necklace and as you can tell here we also have a little gold uh, detailing here which is made out of 18 karat gold so yeah such a classic piece and a piece that you can uh, wear as a choker which is how I would style it um, and you can also wear it longer so you have many options regarding the um, the length of the necklace but this is how I would style it like this I'm wearing this necklace all the time right here, so this is quite long, so I prefer it to be slightly higher and wear it more as a choker. So I really love this look and I today I'm wearing this oversized white shirt, a little top underneath and a satin skirt, but I will show you my outfit in a moment so you can see it in a full version. But yeah, a stunning classic piece that you can wear with everything and a piece that never ever goes out of style. I will put in a, um, a discount code for you and I will put it in right here. So yeah, I think you should definitely go and check the brand out. Let's move on with the day. I will just have my husband help me. Um, he's up there. Uh, just have my husband help me show you my outfit of today and otherwise let's go for some lunch This oversized white shirt paired with a satin skirt my uh, Miss Ryan sandals and this camel bag So I feel like I am ready to browse Cam and find a cute little lunch place day two here in Cannes um, so today has just been a super casual day we just went to the beach and have actually stayed there most of the day and also had lunch uh, at the sun chairs as well so very casual I just um, I actually just put myself a little glass of reset and also took a quick shower because I actually want to explore a little more of Cannes since we actually leave in again tomorrow 
So the plans for tomorrow is that we are trying to get a, um, what do you call it, a parking spot for the boat. Um, it's not that easy. We're going to uh, Port d'Antip, uh, which is supposed to be a beautiful place. And so can't wait to explore that. But anyway, so this is our last day here in Cannes. And yesterday was a great day, but we only went to the main street where all the super expensive stores are. And I'm super happy that we went there and, and I really want to explore uh, some of the smaller streets and see some of the uh, more uh, authentic part of Cannes and also trying to see um, how the shopping area is behind all the super expensive stores. So uh, I actually just took a very quick shower and um, even though, let me see, the time is, oh, it is uh, 6.15, so it is actually quite late, but our whole routine has totally shifted. Uh, normally in Denmark, we eat around 5, uh, 5.30, so we eat quite early, but here we eat around 9, 9.30, so we really sh shifted our routine. So we do have some hours to uh, to explore the city before we are going to uh, to have some dinner. But anyway, I am going to finish this glass of rosé and then I am heading for the city. So let's go. to go home I feel like I'm ready to go home now but it's also a little intense traveling with two small children from like one is two months and the other one is three years but keeping that in mind it's still been quite successful and they have exceeded my expectations so that is so wonderful and I would say actually the baby has been the easiest one on this trip <laughs> and, uh, Speaking of, <laughs> to no one's surprise, South of no France one's surprise. Yeah. is pretty nice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I would have loved to explore more of Saint Tropez. We only we were only there for one day. Not we were not even having a night over. Um, it was just how many like we were there for a couple of hours. I think not more than that just had lunch and were able to walk through some of the beautiful streets around there 
Uh, but it's such a beautiful place and something very different from some of the other cities that we have been visiting. Oh, the bay. So Saint Tropez is definitely on my want to go back cities. Yeah, but it has been a beautiful trip, but I am ready to go home and get back to our daily routine. But I always feel like that when I'm on vacation. I love being on, on vacations, but I also love to go home again. I think the trip has been amazing. Too little sailing, but... Yeah, hey, you're a sailor. That's how it goes when yeah. you're traveling with a, with a non-sailor and two small <laughs> and kids. And that's me. I'm the non-sailor. And that's totally fine. Yeah. And I think next time, maybe there will be more sailing. Maybe you're getting more used to it. I want short sailing trips. Short, maximize land time. Yeah, exactly. And beach, beach time beach as well. Time. Yeah. But that is also what we have done on this trip. So that's wonderful. So that is wonderful. So. Can you go to South Frankrike, August? Okay. Not a fan. <laughs> He's tired. Yeah, and with that, me. we will walk back. Yeah, we will walk back and get these kiddos to sleep. And we are going back home to Denmark again tomorrow. So, see you! See you!